We can subdivide the main wing membrane, the brachiopatagium, into regions of greater or lesser flexibility. The part near the body, where the arm and the leg are, is primarily for lift, and the part near the hand and the finger is primarily for thrust. We call the inboard portion the plagiopatagium, I think because that's the term we use for bats. This part is stretchier with thinner and shorter, more flexible actinofibrils. We call the outboard portion the dactylopatagium. This is tougher and it has longer, stiffer actinofibrils. For the record, both the propatagium, which runs from the hand to the shoulder, and the uropatagium, which runs from ankle to hip, have a similar structure to the dactylopatagium, but with more spaced out fibers, so they were probably more tensile. Some authors use different terms for the brachiopatagium zones, tenopatagium and actinopatagium, and honestly I like those better because they say what they are. 